Hi, I'm Tankfish, and welcome to Rise of Nations, a game where democracy f***ing sucks because you're sharing power and that's communism! Which makes this game very realistic. My mission here today is to spread freedom across this enslaved world and tax the sh** out of everyone until they're too poor and hungry to start a revolution. You see, last time communism clearly didn't work. In fact, I starved 90% of my population to death. So instead of enslaving them politically, I'll just enslave them economically, making them feel as they're in power. But in reality, they're merely lesser beings whose sole purpose is to work to death for the upper echelon. That's why in this video I'll play as the biggest democratic country in the world, United States of America. Russia. 17.1 million kilometers square, Democratic Federation, yeah, f you. Since I'm democratic, I only attack when my people feel threatened, but it's just that I am my people and I choose them. Just let the Russians do the Russian stuff, they'll turn out fine. Hey, Canada, I heard you like Putin. Do you want some of mine? I'm willing to share. I'll take Star Platinum, Maichi Shinretto, get it? Cause there's stands. Stands. Oh, shut up. Oh, Ireland. I heard you have lots of potatoes. You know, I only have a few thousand bottles of vodka left, which is not enough for my party tonight. I'm sure you won't mind sharing some of your um, vegetables. I'll be taking this, and this, and this, and that. And this, and this. Oh, Ukraine. More like my crane. <laughs> okay, no. Wait, friends. What the f? It's winter. It's winter. <laughs> it's the f winter. Wait, Germany. What the f? They're please creating me. They ran out of gas and they want mine. Oof. The Russian Stalingrad. But too bad my farmers have surrounded them and. <laughs> <laughs> it's winter! Iron Curtain activated. Hey, England, have you been selling opium to China? No. Maybe just a little bit. Hey, Japan, can I have some? Go to Waru. Steel? No. I must protect through my hentai collection. Oh, well, f you then. I'm about to take your steel and your hentai collection. It's not, it's not like I'm interested in your hentai collection. Hey, uh, England mate, can I use the Suez Canal? I have some hentai to pick up. Bug off. Uh, yeah, super pretty. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm finally here. Well, <laughs> tremble before the might of the Russian... I fear no man, but that thing... It scares me. Abort mission. Since you guys are all like, play with it! Play with it! Play with it! Shut the fuck up. In the comments section, I'll be playing as the USA, also known as Canada's pants. 60% of my viewers are gonna kill me for saying that. <laughs> Where we're so patriotic that we piss red, white, and blue. And sometimes also stars. So yeah, now that I am the president of the United States of America, I shall install a healthcare system called Tankfish doesn't give a sh**. You see, I am a very smart person, my IQ exceeds 300, so I'm gonna show you some 300 IQ gamer move here. It's called, defeat the final boss before he even becomes a final boss, alright? If you don't understand what I mean, it, it, I, I mean, I'm gonna tentacle f*** China. Oh yes, oh yes, I heard that Hong Kong needs some freedom, huh? So I'm here to free Hong Kong and take all its oil. Now that China got Kono deal, Dad, it's time to eradicate the commies. First, um, Canada, I heard that you have a uh, free healthcare system. You know that's communist, right? Uh, no, that's shut the f up and let me free your people. Oh uh, yes, the border of US and Mexico has finally been completely walled off. Now that the Great Wall is finished. <coughs> yes, this is the president. Oil! Oil! Wait, you found what? You found what in Mexico? Oil! Did, did you say oil? Oil! Oil! That sh**'s mine! Oh yeah, so after some consultations, we uh, we decided to, um, we decided to free Mexico. America, fuck yeah! Why in the f*** 
does USSR have Cuba? I don't know, but 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 like USSR and Cuba together, it's it's not some it's not pleasing memories. Apparently, there's oil in Europe. I think I think they need to be freed. Apparently there's oil in Brazil. I think they need to be freed. Fuck yeah. Apparently Vietnam has oil. I think they need some free. I think they're free enough. I, I think I think they're free enough. Apparently Africa. No one gives a shit about Africa. Apparently Saturn's moon Titan has a load of oil. Yeah, I think they need to be freed. Fuck yeah. Hey, uh, UK, we are, uh, hosting a tea party in Boston. So for some reason, UK colonized Middle East. Well, I guess it is my job to free them and turn them into one of my puppet state and bring all the people who oppose me as terrorists and maybe just maybe take a little bit of oil. You know, a little bit of oil doesn't hurt, it's just a little bit. You know, as the president, I think it's important to listen to your citizens. I mean, this is a democratic country after all, so people are free to say whatever they want. And you suck! He is a communist. Kilometers? The f*** is kilometers? You mean 0 0.621371 miles? And what is all this meters bullshit? Why not just use 1.09361 yards? Dumb. Dumb piece of shit. Uh, one meter is a thousand kilometers. It's easy to calculate. Well, f you. I'm smarter than you. That's why, for me, a thousand seven hundred sixty yard is one mile. It's it's easier. It's I'm smarter. I'm smart. Anyone who uses metric system is communist. F the whole world is communist. Hey, uh, USSR. Don't you think that you're being a little bit too uh, cold? <laughs> F*** you, mate, it's Cold War 2. Oh, never mind, it's it's World War 3. I'll just let you know that the US soldiers are invincible. They're so fat that they are immune to bullets. Yeah, they died of diabetes. But I mean, it's it's, it's not that big of a deal. I, I still have a crap load of troops. Wait, why do I hear boss music? Wait, China, I thought you dead! Oh god, I didn't expect that the boss has a second phase. Oh my god, there's so many farmers. Ah! It's the communists. <laughs>